Today, I'm going to talk about why the U.S. should ban the use of plastic water bottles. It is estimated that just the U.S. consumes up to 50 billion water bottles per year, and an average American buys over 300 plastic water bottles a year. That's about $1,000 spent per year just for plastic bottle use. And on WMR News, it states that America spends $16 billion on making these bottles. And by just using a $20 reusable water bottle, you can save about $6,180 for over five years. And not only can they be expensive by just their creation, these bottles are also extremely harmful to the environment. In an article done by One Green Planet, it states that for all the water bottles manufactured in the United States, Every year, roughly 17 million barrels of oil are needed. The drilling, transportation, and processing of this oil into plastic materials is an energy-intensive process that involves the burning of fossil fuels, which ultimately furthers the effect of climate change. Plastic bottles are also extremely harmful to our oceans and aquatic ecosystems. Plastic bottles are the third most common pollutant found on beaches, only behind cigarette buds and plastic bags. It is estimated that the ingestion of plastic kills 1 million marine birds and over 100,000 marine animals a year. 200 different marine species worldwide have been reported suffering from entanglements in plastic. It is estimated by WaterLogic Australia that by 2050 there will be more plastic than fish in the ocean. The article also says that there is 5.25 trillion plastic particles found in the ocean. The plastic problems in the ocean have gotten so bad that we've created the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is a collection of marine debris in the North Pacific Ocean that has 1.8 trillion pieces of debris, which equates to 250 pieces for each person. And the use of this plastic water bottles also can be terrible to your health. Although many people believe bottled water to be healthier than tap water, the truth is the federal government does not mandate that bottled water be any safer than tap water. In fact, the chemical pollution standards are nearly identical. Even worse, while most public water ut utilities are required to disclose their testing results to the public every year, bottled water companies are not required to release their testing data to the public at all. Research done by the Environmental Working Group found 38 contaminants in 10 popular brands of bottled water, including disinfection byproducts, industrial chemicals, arsenic, fertilizer residue, and pain medication. The study also showed that one bottle of water spurred a 78% increase in the growth of breast cancer cells compared to a control sample. The last study I researched on the health problems that come with bottle usage is done by the State University of New York. They found bottled water samples contain nearly twice as many pieces of microplastics per liter than tap water samples, with a 93% of bottles showing some signs of microplastic contamination. And the last topic I'm going to cover today is the problem with recycling these bottles. And although this may seem like a great thing, 80% of plastic water bottles used in the U.S. each year end up in landfills. That's roughly 38 billion water bottles. And even if they did make it to recycling plants, they take up to a thousand years to fully decompose. And harmful chemicals released during the decomposition process have been linked to cancer and reproductive issues in both humans and animals. In conclusion, we should ban, ban bottled water because it would reduce waste and protect the environment. It is good for your health, it would save money, and most importantly, it would protect our local waterways.